Hi guys, it's Friday the 15th of March 2013. I'm Marisa Sullivan and you're watching Less Than 3 on STV Galway. Here's your latest news update. In world news, the world's 1.2 billion Catholics have a new Pope. Cardinal Bergoglio of Argentina has taken the name of Francis I. The 76-year-old is the first Jesuit to ever lead the Roman Catholic Church in its 2,000-year history. White smoke rose from the chimney in St. Peter's Square in Vatican City on Wednesday evening, indicating that a new pontiff had been chosen by a two-thirds majority of the 115 cardinals. It was one of the fastest elections in recent years after a mere five ballots. The pontiff prayed for the Pope Emeritus Benedict, who announced his shock retirement last month amidst claims that he could not overcome the crisis that have shaken the Vatican, from child sex abuse scandals to private document leaks. Pope Francis also said that cardinals went to the other side of the world to find a new pope. EU leaders will discuss the economic crisis today at a conference in Brussels. Economic affairs are to be on the agenda due to the growing displeasure about how Europe has met its fiscal aims, as well as the high level of unemployment figures. The French President François Hollande revealed earlier this week that France would not be able to meet its 2013 deficit reduction target, while Enda Kenny insisted that measures would have to be implemented to ensure the EU passed what he called the credibility test. In Irish news, an Irish language awareness programme is being developed for Angarda Síochána. On Commissioner Chonga, Sean O'Curon launched his annual report in Galway this week. In response to the lack of a support system for members of the public who wish to converse with Gardaí Asquelga. His office monitors how public bodies conform to the requirements of the Official Languages Act. 756 complaints were made to the office last year alone with regard to accessing state services through Irish. Gardaí will receive a laminated card with several Irish phrases to help them in their work. A Connemara woman has been found guilty of the manslaughter of her former partner. Maura Thornton, 31, was sentenced to 10 years in prison after stabbing Kevin Joyce 18 times outside her home in July 2011. Mr Justice Barry White acknowledged her drink problem but refused to grant an exception for the offence. Rickshaws have been banned in Galway. The licences of Galway's 20 people carriers will run out in the summer and a council motion was passed to change the bylaws allowing them when this happens. Fianna Fáil councillor Mike Crow, chair of the Transport Strategic Policy Committee, stated that rickshaws do not add any value to the city and are a danger to pedestrians in Galway's narrow streets, particularly at night. However, rickshaw drivers insist they are just trying to make a living. That's your news for today. Check in with us next week when we'll have your latest episode of Less Than 3. Thanks for watching. Stop.